The Oniro of Irula Kingdom, or Babula Lawala, says the Lagos State Tourism sector currently contributes 4.1 trillion naira to the state gross domestic project GDP. Obalawal shared the statistic during the 2024 World Tourism Day celebration, which was themed Tourism and Peace. Plus, we correspond to your document tells us more in this report. World Tourism Day is celebrated annually on September 27 to highlight the global significance of tourism and its social, cultural, and economic impacts. In Lagos State, Muri Okonla Park buzzed with government officials, traditional leaders, and tourism advocates celebrating this year's theme, Tourism and Peace. In his lead presentation, Obagbola Olawa, the Oniru of Iruland, praised Lagos State's vibrant tourism industry, noting its rich cultural heritage and beautiful coastal areas. Annually, 500,000 people. National Theatre, 300,000 visitors annually. National Museum, 150,000. Park, Tapabalewa Square, it is 200,000 visitors. Bagazi Heritage Site, 150,000. While Lake Conservation Centre, it is 120,000 visitors annually. So far, over 10,000 jobs were created on that big front. The State Commissioner for Tourism, Arts and Culture, Toke Benson Awuinka, affirmed that Lagos is committed to promoting tourism as both an economic driver and a tool for fostering peace. Describing the tourism sector as a powerful catalyst for peace, the Commissioner stated that the state's tourism initiatives continue to elevate Lagos as a global destination, showcasing its cultural diversity. We want um, a tunnel experience from your airport landing experience, the visa on arrival process, a lag ride into town, the boat ride from Laswa Jetty to all the beach, beach, beach fronts in Lagos, to all the way to Badagri waterfront, the point of no return. We want to create a whole experience. We also want to seek to market Lagos the way other countries have marketed all of their destinations. Lagos is a destination to behold. Lagos has everything that a, a touristic community has to offer. So we're definitely going to improve on that infrastructure. We're going to make sure that the experience in Lagos is different. We're going to start off with our slogan, which is Imagine Lagos. When you imagine Lagos, you imagine the things you need to do in Lagos. Go to Dubai. Even Saudi Arabia, they now make tourism a major sector and they are promoting tourism a lot. And you know Nigeria, the federal government, the president is doing a lot to ensure that we create jobs, jobs and jobs for the youth population. That's I'm happy that uh, you know what Lagos is witnessing is, is, is very unique. It what you can you refer to when you see a state that is really working and also leading. So we're witnessing a lot of friendship, and even a lot of cooperation from individuals, from brands, from uh, organizations who so much believe in the progress that we're doing in Lagos. So, which, you know, I, I want to say very thank you to our governor you know, for doing, for doing, you know, to, for making all this happen. You know, this is a governor who so much believe in the people, and also who believe so much in adding value to our society. The 2024 World Tourism Day theme, Tourism and Peace underscores the tourism industry's pivotal role in promoting cross-cultural understanding, reconciliation, and global harmony, according to the United Nations World Tourism Organization. Love Uyidukun, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.